As you start producing music, it's essential to know some of the basic properties of sound. So much of what we do really is manipulating these kind of general principles or basic properties of sound. What we're going to look at today is going to be propagation, amplitude, frequency, and timbre. And we're going to start with propagation, and that's the sounds moving through a medium. Now, sound can exist in a variety of mediums. It can go through air, it can go through metal, it can go through water. And in each one of those mediums, it actually goes at a different rate or a different speed. And it does take time for sound to get uh, from one place to another, and our brain is amazingly capable at determining those fine differences in um, in, in arrival time. In fact, if you have something, if you have a sound coming from the right hand side, it hits your right ear before the left, and we can actually detect that, and that's one of the main ways we actually determine if something is coming from the right instead of the left. So manipulation of, of a slight delay is really a manipulation of our sense of propagation or of sounds moving through the air. Now, there are many properties of air that can change the rate of sound. Uh, the temperature, the humidity, your elevation, whether you're at sea level or up a couple miles like in Denver. So if I'm going to be particular about saying the speed of sound, I have to say the speed of sound at um, sea level at the specific temperature. But really, it only changes the speed of sound a very slight amount. So we can say sound generally travels at 340 meters per second. Um, that also works out to be around one foot per millisecond, uh, one kilometer in three seconds, or one mile in five seconds. Again, these are not precise and they rely on a variety of factors, but it is useful to know because a lot of what we do with sound effects, like delay, reverb, phasers, and flangers, they're actually all related to this idea of propagation. If I'm trying to give the sense of a space, that's all based on manipulating this idea of propagation because as I talk in a room, the sound of my voice bounces off all of the surfaces. It takes time for the sound to get from my mouth to the surface and then back or to someone else. And then all the different surfaces are reflecting differently. So our idea and our sense of space is actually based on this idea of propagation and reflection, the sound reflecting off objects and taking time to get there in a different amount of time from all those different surfaces. So, so much of what we do in a mix is based on creating a sense of space and a depth and a real location. And all of those parameters are based on this idea of propagation.